Welcome everybody. This is Pragati with Cyber Group bringing you a tidbit session on visual flows. In this episode, we are going to learn the basics of flows and how to create an object record using a flow. Before we get started, if you are not familiar with Salesforce, please refer to trailhead.salesforce.com and search for admin basics to learn the fundamentals of Salesforce. What is a flow? Flow is a very powerful business automation tool that can manipulate data in Salesforce in a variety of ways. Flows can fetch, delete, update, and create records on multiple objects. How to access a flow? In your Lightning experience, when you go to Setup and when you key in flows, you will land on this page. If you're using your classic experience, please go ahead, click on Setup and key in flows and hit the flow button. How to create a flow? Let us now go ahead and see how to create a flow. When you click the new flow button, you will be asked to choose a type of flow. You have two flow types, an auto-launched flow and a screen flow. An auto-launched flow does not require user interaction, hence does not support any form of screens. Also, auto-launched flows can be used in scenarios when you want to launch a flow from a process builder or an apex trigger. A screen flow, on the other hand, supports usage of screen elements and hence is predominantly used for user interaction. Let us now go ahead, choose the screen flow and hit create. What you see here are two tabs, an elements tab and a manager tab. Let us go through all of these elements. A screen element is basically used to collect information from users who run the flow or this element is also used to show users some information. An action element displays standard actions like post to chatter or send email and also your org's quick actions. A subflow launches another flow that has been activated in your org. An assignment element is basically used for setting variable values used in a flow. A decision element can create paths for the flows to take based on the conditions set in this element. A loop element is used for iterating over a collection of records. What you see here are four elements which are pretty straightforward. They are used for creating records, updating records, fetching records, and for deleting records from an object. The manager tab, on the other hand, can be used for creating variables, constants, formulas, and other items to store data in a flow. Let us now see how to create a new record for an object called bid. Before we proceed, I would like to show you a sample bid record in my org. This is my sample bid record. It contains two custom fields, a bid name and a bid address, and it contains two standard fields created by last modified by that are auto-populated. Let us now see how to pass user input to bid name and bid address using a flow. Let us start with a screen element. Let me call this as user input screen. Let me now go ahead and drag two text components, one for the bid name and one for the bid address. Now, let us go ahead and drag the create records element for creating the bid records. I would like to create only one record every time this flow is invoked and I would like to pass separate resources and literal values every time I'm trying to set the records fields. The object that I would like to create a record for is the bid object. What you see here are, it's asking you to map a value from the flow to the corresponding field present in the bid record. 
So what we're trying to do is we're trying to pass the screen's bid name and bid address to the corresponding fields, bid name and bid address. I would now go ahead and choose the screen element bid name here. Likewise, I'm now going to go ahead and add the bid address field and I'm going to choose the screen element called bid address and I'm going to say done. Let me now go ahead and add a finish screen. Let me add a display text component to this finish screen and call this as success message. Let me say done. Let me now go ahead and connect all of the components. Let me now go ahead and hit save and give this flow a name. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to run this flow. Let me hit on the debug button. You will be arriving at a window which asks you to run this particular flow. Let us go ahead and run this flow. What you see here is the screen element that we created asking the user to input the bid name and the bid address. I'm going to go ahead and give this a bid name and I'm going to go ahead and give this a bid address. Let us go ahead and say next. This screen shows us that we have successfully created a bid record. Let us go to our bids object and verify that this particular record has been created. It has successfully been created and if you can see the user input values of bid name and bid address entered in the screen has been mapped over to the corresponding fields in the bid record. This concludes this episode and I want to thank all of you for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for future Visual Flow tutorials.